What is up today, guys? Today, I thought it'd be fun to show you the entire art room, all my setup, all of my everything, and just everywhere I do art. Maybe we'll just make it a yearly thing. Be like, oh man, what changed in the art room or something like that. Let's just start. How do we start? Well, let me take you there. Hey, hi there. Uh, we'll start with the desk. Why the heck not? All right, so let's start off with this table here. <laughs> really big. Um, as you can see, there's my hand, there's the table. This whole table here, got it from JCPenney um, when it was going um, going under <laughs> and going out of business. I got the table for $20 and it was like a, a clothing table or something like that. It's real nice. It's uh, got a smooth top and everything. Perfect for uh, drawing and doing big stuff. So what all do I have on here? I obviously have my computer do stuff on i've got my tablet on an easel this is a wacom or wacom however you pronounce it i say wacom uh wacom dang it wacom <laughs> gosh wacom uh cintiq 13 inch pro or something like that that's what that one is got the pen sitting back there this is my uh xp pen glove thing that i wear so i don't get like oils and such on the tablet well just touched it whoopsie this to plug in the phone so i can transfer videos i've got an adapter here so that i can use my tablet this is my charging cord going down there it's not currently plugged in and then this here is my external hard drive two terabyte and uh, it's about full so aside from these two mice this one for the computer and this one for my cup um mini mouse boom what else do we have up here we've got the jf touch dart mask Got a joke book. <laughs> Every time I hear a new joke or I think of one, I write it down in there because I love my dad jokes and uh, I feel like they'll come in handy pretty soon. Then we've got this cool little cup here. Uh, my mother made it, got it for Christmas last year. I just keep it in an assortment of, you know, Sharpies, pens, Sharpie pens, highlighter pen, scissors, and a back scratch here because you never know when you're going to need one. Boom. And then this nice little uh, candle here. It's like smoky gray, obviously. I have uh, used quite a bit of it. Cool. That's the desk. But what about the stuff that you guys typically do not see in the videos? Well, let's address my camera stand right now. Right now, it's just a simple tripod with a phone attachment. I've got one of the extensions down, but I could simply just raise it up and it'd go pretty high. And I've got a ring light that's got uh, two separate camera holders there. I don't really use them because they're not super stable but they're there in case I want them. And the ring light with this little guy, I can switch it. Me yellow, blue, kind of white, yellow, blue, white. Speaking of lights, let's move on to this guy. Um, he's just a, a three light bulb little light thing. I can turn these around and it just, uh, it's not so harsh of a straight on light on me. So that's why I like it, it's pretty cool. Got it from Walmart, like 30 bucks, not bad. More lights, all right. So we've got just two uh, floor lamps over here. I tend to keep them like just out of out of sight when I, uh, when I record, so you guys don't see them, but they are there. And then of course, <laughs> the big old ceiling fan light. Again, I think it would be super cool to paint on these just uh, whenever I get time. All right, so we've addressed the table, the light situation. Let's address the wall, because the wall is really cool. So these dinosaurs here, um, and the one actually over by the light, boom, light switch. Those dinosaurs there are from the uh, middle parts when Bailey and I cut out the dinosaur outlines for baby's wall over in the room over there. This is just a closet, but it's in the room next to it. So yeah, like the baby has the outlines and I've got the insides. I just, uh, I think it's real cool. So speaking of dinosaurs, maybe, I'm not sure. I've got a giant stuffed um, dinosaur crocodile alligator thing and a big shark. The dogs like to play with those. They were both gifts for Bailey, but now the dogs have kind of adopted them over the years. So they love to sit on them and they're pretty small. So they, uh, they really like the big toy. Boom. <laughs> all right, we've dressed all this junk. Let's move on to this. So this is just one of the three um, tower shelving unit things I've got. Got three of them last year. Not a bad price. It's uh, it's metal and then some sort of like nice plastic. Real cool. Then I've got the calendar. I'm going to keep it kind of unstable here just because there's stuff written on it that I don't want you guys to see. But there is indeed a calendar. I'm organized. 
All right, so down here, I've got nothing down there, but I've got an iPad with a pen and uh, that's my photo scanner, pretty cool. And then I got a tissue box, cool. Allergy season, you know, gotta be prepared. We've got another cup holder. I just got those all over the place. Um, that is the drawing tablet without the screen. Probably gonna get rid of it because I don't really use it, but that's there. Got my printer here. Is there anything there? Nice surprise. Nope, there is nothing inside. Look at me, I'm too efficient. I put it back. So uh, over here, I've got a microphone for when I do like voiceover stuff. Uh, got my drawing tablet pen case. Currently not a pen in there because it's right there. And then just like an assortment of flash drives and uh, some cords, yeah. corded headphones like a Neanderthal. And then a little, little tiny tripod for uh, when I do other things. So I can just screw the top on from that guy. And uh, then it's like a tiny tripod. And I love the Febreze wood air thing, whatever. It's real good. Would recommend, not sponsored. <laughs> All right, my chair, got to talk about it real quick. Chair is all right. It's, it's uh, I don't know, five, six, maybe five or six years old. It's uh, falling apart once, but we put it back together just fine. And uh, I've got a nice robe on it. I've got a fluffy blanket on it because I like to get all cozy whenever I just sit down for a long project. So there's that. But um, yeah, I mean, if you guys have been with me for a while, you know I'd like wear a robe or wear a blanket over me or something when I make art because... A lot of times that's just real cozy and I like it. There's the desk. There's the chair with the robe and blanket. Over here we've got Bailey's Cricket Stand. I have a brief understanding of how to use the cricket. I like what it does. Obviously we used it for the dinosaurs and stuff. She's done shirts with it. But I am not savvy with it yet. I will one day be, but um, right now this is Bailey's craft stuff because uh, I'm not very good at it. And uh, obviously I move this light when I'm not, you know, using it. Then we've got a box of uh, <laughs> a bunch of supplies, you know, 3M stuff. There's tape, there's sticky notes, scratch pads, really any cleaning or organizing stuff. <laughs> you'll probably find it in that box. And then the trash can. Epic. Alrighty, we have officially addressed this half the room. Cool. Let's flip it over to this half, the half that you guys typically do see. So we'll start it off, big old crown bank, crown, crayon, crown, however you pronounce it, there it is. All right, so we'll start off with the desk. I do like this desk, you guys saw me unbox it a while ago. It's pretty cool, good for drawing and everything. I'm a fan. Um, and the glass top, it's just super nice. And the glass top does, of course, lift up, but I'm not gonna do it because I got stuff on there, and uh, yeah. What do we have down here? Well, I've got a, a copper hands glove. It's from that section at Walmart that's uh, as seen on TV. Now, people might think, well, that doesn't really work. But the compression of the glove feels pretty good. So, you know, after a long day of arting, um, sometimes it's, it's not bad. Even if it might be a little bit of a scam, it still feels pretty good. So, is it a scam? I don't know. And then over here, we've got a few uh, notes and receipts. Since I am indeed monetized on the YouTube, I uh, do keep track of what I spend on things for the videos. So there's that. Taxes. Yay. So on top of it, I've got a sketchbook going with a, a future project that I want to work on. So guys, you can keep your guys' eyes out for that. Blah, blah, blah. Up here, we got an iPhone 8. I'm currently recording on a 12. That 8 is just like my secondary camera for uh, whenever I need a secondary camera. Boom. Bunch of not fun paperwork. Ooh, Gross. Uh, glasses cleaner, definitely need that because uh, things happen. Another flash drive, sticky notes, assorted writing utensils for, uh, you know, notes. Paper plate Disney art, <laughs> haven't found a place for it yet. And it's too big to fit where I, you know, put all the other stuff. So I don't quite know what I'm going to do with it, but it's here. So before we start addressing the shelves, let's talk about what's on the wall. So over here by the dinosaur and the shark and stuff, We've got this art piece. You guys have heard me talk about it before if you've been around here for a while. That is the piece Bailey made me when I turned 18. And uh, on that day, I asked her to be my girlfriend. So it's got a lot of significance. She painted all that. She put superhero quotes on the side. Ah, oh, she's so awesome. So, you know, has a lot of meaning. Speaking of Bailey and her art, she did both of these. Rapunzel, uh, just pencil on canvas. And then Maleficent over here, paint. And she did little roses in the back. Super proud of her for both these, she's super awesome. 
Let's talk about this one, the thousand subscriber picture. We're actually almost at 2000 subscribers. So just like two pictures aside here, imagine that one is full of people again. That's how many people we're almost at. That's super cool. So thank you guys very much. And this one's real cool too. If my subscribers had their um, names turned on and I can see that they are subscribed to me, who's going to get a shout out? Let's, let's pick someone from the very beginning. We can see, we can see. Zumakia, we can see, we can see Omar Tobias, we, we can see cute grandpa, we've got Dev Animate, we've got Bailey Feasel, what? And then if we get up top, we see some newer subscribers, because uh, I went like this, kind of. So up top, we've got, I don't know, who, who do we have up here? TJ Rogers, we've got Roar Drawings, but yeah, if you were in the first thousand subscribers and... Uh, you had your, you know, name turned on and like, I could see that you were subscribed to me. You are in here somewhere. So real cool. And especially cool that we're almost at twice that many. So super cool. Um, thanks guys. Over here, we've got my T1s, um, modeled, rigged and painted all of these guys in Maya, um, and substance painter. Now the sad truth is I no longer have Maya. my subscription ran out. So we are, <laughs> Uh, saving up to get Maya again, at least the indie version, so we can uh, hopefully do more with them. All right, moving on. We've got Stan Lee out of the Civil War comic book. It is just a bunch of um, tape and that comic book cut up. So you can see real close, like, I didn't draw any of this except for Stan Lee himself. I drew him and then I glued and taped everyone in. Don't we all want a Peter Parker nose? All right, so I think we've addressed everything in here except for the shelves and the closet. Oh. Over here, we've got World's Best Papa. Um, Bailey and the dogs made that for me uh, last Father's Day. Not, you know, 2022, but 2021. And uh, it's crazy to think that in 2023, I'll be celebrating that with like, like a little one. Oh my gosh, super cute. All right, anyway. So let's talk about the shelves. Let's pick uh, this one first. Cool. Hi, buddy. So down here by Mo. <laughs> Mo's doing his best Vanna White. Down here by Mo, we've just got a bunch of cool board games and stuff. Uh, things we like to play. Isn't that right, Momo? Yeah, little Mowgli. All right, moving up a shelf, we've got Mickey and Minnie. Grandma and Grandpa gave that to us. We've, of course, got my Moon Knight transforming art. That one, super cool. It actually, um, I didn't blow up on TikTok, but it got a lot of views for me on TikTok, and uh, that was pretty cool. Then we've got my Zoe trope here with good old Bob Ross slapping some paint down. Cool. So moving up to the next shelf, we've got this clock picture uh, combination that Bailey got me when we first moved in together. Real cool. We've got the almost Beauty and the Beast inspired kind of flower thing, rose that I made for Bailey during our first Valentine's Day. Boom. We've got a Spider-Man and Venom painting that uh, my sister-in-law made for me. Really cool. Uh, she did a really good job. And then we've got a Captain America figure that Bailey got for me during our first Christmas. Super cool. All right, moving up. We've of course got the diploma. We've got uh, a copy of the Deadpool script. Like, yep, the whole script. Signed by the uh, actors and Stanley right in the middle. Um, my aunt got that for me and uh, I don't know, it's just super cool. So it's on display. We've got the new buzz. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a really cool thing. If you guys have seen the uh, Beyond Infinity thing on Disney+, Plus, it's really cool and it breaks down how they uh, redesigned the Toy Story Buzz to make this Buzz and like what even brought Buzz Lightyear into the first Toy Story movie. So it's a really cool thing to watch on Disney+. Plus. Would recommend. And then I've just got toys of various Mickeys. I have a ton more Disney toys, but I'll show you those here in a little bit. Alrighty, so up here we've got the Infinity Gauntlet, the Nano Gauntlet, um, and a Lego Infinity Gauntlet that I'm going to build soon. It's got lights so that it can light up. Um, my uh, mother-in-law got me this, and my mother got me both of these on separate Christmases. So, cool. Go moms. I have no clue why I have this, where I got it, or anything like that, but I remember having this little Thor's hammer Mjolnir thing. Um... When I was a freshman in college, before I went to Full sales, and this was uh, on my lanyard, and I would always be like, oh man, I can't pick up my lanyard. I, I was a dork, 
Um, I don't know why I bought it or who gave it to me or whatever, but there it is. Got some bottle caps that Bailey and I drew on. Oop. Oh gosh, oh no. Yeah, pretty sentimental about things like this. And uh, you know, if you save the little stuff, you can eventually one day do something with it. So that is the key to being sentimental and not being a hoarder. Because we're going to eventually, eventually do something with them, probably. Keep the important stuff, not the junk. That's important stuff. And then we've got an art Spider-Man that my cousin got me for Christmas. Really cool. Um, I don't have any other Funkos. Well, I've got two at my mom's house. An Ant-Man and a Captain America that my brother got me. But here, I've just got this one. And then a half friggin' dollar. I was at Dollar General. I paid with cash for once. And... She handed me this, and I almost questioned it. I was like, what? But, uh, yeah, it's a good old 50-cent coin right there. But it <laughs> really threw me off when she handed it to me, so for weirdness sake, there it is. Alrighty, so let's move on to this shelf. This is, this shelf is not, I, I don't know. Okay, so if I were to just guess, make a weighted comparison, I would say this shelf is probably way more sentimental than this one. Now this one does have uh, my first gift from Bailey on Christmas, uh, the first gift I got her on a Valentine's Day, a gift from my sister-in-law, uh, a gift from my uh, mom and mother-in-law, a gift from my aunt. This one's got a lot of gifts. This one has a lot of like story, if you will. So except for the puzzles down here, Bailey and I just got into a puzzle phase one year. The first year we uh, moved in together, actually, I think we made one puzzle, and then that's it. But now we've got a bunch of unmade Disney puzzles, so those are there. Very cool. So that dollar right there, that was the first dollar I earned doing art. Um, it's when my toy soldier flag went viral, and someone had paid me to use my flag in their toy soldier movie. So they paid me $101, and I kept the $1 because they handed that to me first. I spent the hundred. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's that. Now, right next to it, we've got the blue Power Ranger drawn by my brother. That's the one from the 2017 movie. I love that movie. I think it's way better than people give it credit for. And my brother, who hates art, did that for me. So good on you, little Chad. You made a good one. And uh, now he does a bunch of gaming stuff on his channel. So, moving on up, we've got books. <laughs> Alright, so for books. This is the first book I ever wrote. Um, and I created my own characters for it. It's, uh, they've got some fun creatures, some funny, funny lines. It's a bit of a, a humorous book. If it were made into a show, it'd probably be something on, like, Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon. Not quite Disney level, but it's, uh... First thing I wrote, really cool, and um, did it in eighth grade, and I <laughs> needed the assistance of um, a ton of family members to finish it up before it was due, because that was actually a school project, but I very vaguely followed the rules, but I still got an A on it, so good on me. These are a bunch of sketchbooks here. This is like my main one that I'll use um, for just notes and characters and stuff. Um, I really like it. It looks almost like a like a fantasy notebook, something you'd find in like Once Upon a Time or something like that, so really like that. What is this back here? Well, oh, okay. Um, the only thing that's not a sketchbook here is this, and this is a, a little drawing thing I did of my family, as you can see by the well-illustrated cover. Um, I took characteristics of each family member and drew them out into, you know, weird little pen sketches. So my cousin liked Spongebob. He was in the Boy Scouts. He liked cowboy boots. So there he is. This one's me. I thought I was super awesome. I've got long arms, so I did that. My arms are actually pencils, as you can see. Super cool. Um, at the time, I was really into The Simpsons, so I gave myself, like, Homer Simpson shoes I was going for anyway. Um, and I really liked basketball. We were doing a basketball unit, so I gave myself a basketball head with SpongeBob teeth. Um, so yeah. Oh, and I guess I really liked Nike at the time too. 
and uh, my brother likes pizza and playing video games, so there's that. Mom likes M&Ms. It's just a bunch of stuff like this. And uh, I had a bookmaker. <laughs> um, that's why it's uh, such a terrible quality. Speaking of other books, all right, so let's go ahead and start with this one, The Animator Survival Kit. Super awesome book for learning animation. Would highly recommend because um, it gives you lots of tips and tricks on how to break things down and, you know, walk cycles, jumps, expressions, hand movements, anything really is in this book about how to animate something well. So would recommend. Now, this one, as I alluded to earlier, my uh, flag went viral. This is the first book I'm in. I think it was page 145, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty much this book is just a bunch of flags across America, as you can probably tell. And there I am with my big old toy soldier flag. That's what it looks like up close. Four foot by six foot, grandpa built the easel. There's me, good old 2016 Jacob. So if you guys see this thing online and they're like a young man named Jacob from Indiana, that was me. <laughs> they don't put the last name Feasel, but they keep crediting someone else um, who I don't even know. But typically uh, this thing will get shared around um, 4th of July, around Memorial Day, Veterans Day, um, all the days celebrating um, our military, our country, anything like that. This, not not necessarily this picture, but this artwork gets shared a lot, and uh, not too many people know that it was actually me. So in case you guys happen to see this, now you know. You can be like, hey, that's Jacob on Tetris Art. That's his. Um, and sadly enough, it was the one art project that I recorded, but the video file got corrupted, so I could never post it. And it went friggin' viral. So, you know, go figure, right? <laughs> so, yeah. That's the first book I'm in. Um, I, I don't get any kind of value if you guys buy it or not. I, I don't get any payment. Um, but, yeah. That's that. It's got me wondering. Could I write a book one day? I don't know. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Anywho. Um, moving on up. To this shelf this is the shelf of assortments and fun and wonder um okay so i've got a bunch of copics here um during my big old disney drawing i acquired a lot of these and uh yep those are that's my copic collection got a bunch of ink refills various markers some that I, some ink refills that i ended up not even needing to open so they are here for whenever i need them but copics are awesome man i'll tell you they are just incredible. All right, then we've got the Pixar Bowl. I got this from Disney World when I went last year, um, a good 14 months ago. I could never find these on the internet. Maybe they just are and I didn't look hard enough, or maybe they're on Amazon, but I could not find these anywhere. So I'm convinced that you can only buy these at Disney World or something like that. Um, but yeah, I have it. It's super cool, and I like it. I want a bigger one. Now this is stuck holy goodness okay well now it left a mark but this is actually just a um a doorknob uh cover that uh you know when we moved into this house i switched out the doorknob so that the past owner can't get in and i kept the doorknob cover painted it red so i can set my little pixar ball on it cool and we've got little hector here from uh, uh coco uh, my mom's got a very long story about how she got that it's like a dollar or so from Dollar General, but got uh, mixed in with some stuff at school. And she had like numerous kids looking for it, and uh, they, they ended up finding it. So there's that. We've got the Encanto doors back there. I realized in the video that I used glow in the dark paint, but did not tell you guys whether or not they do indeed glow in the dark. They do, but I, <laughs> I can't show you now because, uh, you know, the sun. Not the sun, but the blinds had been closed all day, so it just hadn't been absorbing any light. But it does glow. Um, where all that tan is, it does glow there. So, pretty cool. Moving over here, Ben 10 collection. Not all of it, <laughs> definitely. But we've got the original 10. Uh, so yeah, I freaking love Ben 10. Not necessarily the reboot series, not a fan of that. But 
the original. That's where it's at. So yeah, I've got a ton more of Alien Force, Ultimate Alien, um, Omniverse, all that in the closet. But I've got the original 10 out of here. Moving on up, we've got, let's just go ahead and start off with these two. Two more cups, just like that one over there. Except they are uh, different sizes, obviously. Um, but again, my mom made them, so very cool. This right here, a little collage on uh, some canvases Bailey made me during our second Christmas after we moved in together. So she tricked me that year. She's like, can we just not make something for each other? Can we just like buy something or do something? I was like, sure. So I got her a sweater. I got her some other things that she was asking for. And then she pulled this out and I friggin' cried. So the one year that she made me something and I didn't make her something, she got me. Alrighty, and then behind that is an animation Bailey made me during our first Christmas after moving in together. Um, yeah, that's just super cool. Uh, she put it on the on the YouTube, and I get to uh, I get to watch it every now and then because it's about our little family, so it's uh, really cool. Over here, man, I'm realizing I've got a lot of Christmas stuff on the shelf. Over here, we've got Christmas from our first year together. Um, you know, some Captain America onesies. I got her a big bear, and I made her a little bear. Really cool. All right, now non-Christmas stuff. This was from my first animation of a little guy walking up to a magician, and he's like, oh, do something. And the magician's just like, okay, he pulls out a box, and then he, like, gives the kid a balloon, um, even though the kid didn't have any money or anything. You can actually see this uh, a few videos ago when I reacted to my animations from forever ago. I think it was, like, nine years ago. So, you can actually see that. Got a Father's Day card from the dogs and Bailey. Now, I've got a little Stitch here because this is Stitch's first artwork. Um, he had opened up a Sharpie or something and got it on our couch when we, again, first moved in together. And we uh, blotted it up and we're like, hey, that's actually pretty cool. So, we framed it and that's Stitch's first artwork. Alrighty, so moving on up to the very last thing in this room, anyway is our shelf here what do we have what do we have let's start here what is this this is a, obviously a business card back when i got the art gallery um in 2018 kept it for about six months so i ordered 500 um, business cards i still have probably 475 of them um these are just a few the rest are in the closet then i've got the tetrid art award from the 100th video on the channel we're now at like 317 give or take so that has stood the test of time made out of popsicles like man i really like making that video and it's a really fun watch so if you guys want to go check it out i look real goofy because it's a few years ago and uh it's it's just a really good time i recorded it at the beginning of 2018 it's the <laughs> tetrid art awards 100 award show thing and i pretty much just gave myself a lot of awards for like various things i've done over the videos it's just it's a really fun watch, so I would recommend it if you guys hadn't seen it. Okay, this is a dad frame that Bailey got me. We're going to stick a little picture of our guy in there when he's born. Within the month, holy goodness. Back here we have my hot glue paint snake thing that I had made all out of hot glue and then painted it. Um, really like it. It's real cool. Bailey made me a dinosaur for Valentine's Day. Real cute. This is me, obviously. Um, I didn't make this, no. This was a gift. Um for when I got married from my, my family. So really cool, really cool. Do I like it? Oh yeah. All right, down here, my 200th video. Wow, I've got 100th and 200th. That one is the tiny Bob Ross uh, candy painting that I did. So Bob Ross um, has, obviously not the Bob Ross, but the Bob Ross brand, I should say, has candy bars that are filled with various colors. So I broke open the candy bars and used the colors to paint on this tiny canvas and I sealed it with some sort of spray. Um, it's pretty bad up close, but if you're pretty far away, you're like, wow, that's a, that's a cool little mountain thing. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. Up here, a little art posable guy. Bailey uh, got me and drew on for me. Got my uh, groom little uh, wooden circle thing that I put on my keys for a while until it got a little too worn. So now it's just up here chilling. This is a weird little mind game trick thing that my uh, mother-in-law got me. It's really fun to play with. Um, I don't know if I can do it with one hand, but the goal is to separate these. I don't think I can do it with one hand, but um, it is possible. 
it's just, uh, it's real fun. This is our practice F. So uh, when we got married, we had a really big F and we painted it, like we did the drip paint, um, turned it, did more drip paint. So this was our practice one to make sure that pour paint works and it does, really cool. This is a date jar that Bailey made me a few years ago. It's got a bunch of uh, date ideas in it. And this up here is a little coupon, uh, not book, but a little box of coupons that Bailey made for me. So at this point, you guys have the story behind it. Literally everything in this room. Holy goodness. Now. Time for the closet. I'm not going to go as in depth because there's not a lot of story behind this. It's just a bunch of supplies, but we'll still show you some stuff. Alrighty, so that box, just a bunch of keepsakes from me and Bailey. Got my DS. Um, <laughs> bet it's been a while since any of you have seen one of those. That's the original DS. Alright, we got some more keepsakes, some sketchbooks, um, a Buddha board. That's real cool. Maybe I'll do a video on that pretty soon. It's just a relaxing, disappearing painting thing. Got my 3D printer. Now that I'm in a house with a clean garage, and I'll show you that here in a little bit, I can finally set this up. I've got a glass. Yeah, I've got a piece of glass I can set it on because it says you're not supposed to set it on wood, but I've only got wood surfaces. So that's cool. I got a paper shredder. And then this box is a hand casting kit. Real cool. Now, all of that, those are all toys. Um, I'm thinking I'm probably just going to end up putting them in various spots on the shelves and uh each video i might change them out or something like that just so that they can get in rotation and start being used um <laughs> i just feel bad that they're back there that's all but yeah tons and tons of disney toys all righty so our shelves really just a bunch of supplies we've got a bunch of computer paper we've got character drawings um in case i ever want to go back through and be like hey i'll redesign the character so let's let's just pick one out. You guys saw me go through these a few years ago in a video. They're all pretty bad. Look, I squared. It's just two eyes, a triangle, and a circle. One's a happy guy, and one's an angry guy. Um, and so yeah, I was like, you know what? If I ever want to, I just randomly pull one out and redesign a character, update them, make them cool. This is the box for that. More just paper, 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 scrapbook paper. Um, back here, just big paper. We've got um, a few uh, Prismacolor alcohol markers, but for the most part, these are Sharpie pens and stuff. Uh, more Sharpies, uh, more Sharpie S, Color Sharp kind of markers. Crowns, crayons. Dang it, I can never say it the same way. We've got ink, we've got uh, pastels sharpener uh copic marker holder for when i'm at the desk and i just don't want them all over the place but yeah so there's that down here we've got one box of pencils but all of these boxes here they're colored pencils um dry erase markers other sharpies and other markers and stuff i've got a clay kit that my mother-in-law got me so i figured one day pretty soon i'll make some clay got some more clay up there there's the rest of my uh, business cards. Yeah, that's pretty fun. Um, and then just some various adult stuff, ACA envelopes and batteries. <laughs> Tech bucket, I feel like everyone's got to have one. It's just an assortment of wires and other things that, you know, one day could be helpful. We've got some picket signs in case we want to, you know, um, say that the Krusty Krab is unfair and tell people that Mr. Krabs is in there. Um, some canvases, paint. This is my making bucket that I call it. So my making uh, videos tend to have a purple banner and they have my stretchy guy. Um, a lot of things that I need for those videos are in here. We've got some sparkles. We've got some yarn, glue, tarps. <laughs> um, just an assortment of scissors and things that I'll use for the making videos. Then we get more up to the paint stuff. This is just a bucket full of various spray paints and uh, other paints. I've got all my types of brushes and sponges and stuff. Tape, um, more paint brushes, a palette. This has some staples and uh, some stuff like that. 
two jars for you know water mixing and stuff mod podge more paint then we get up to another kind of making shelf again various glues hot glues uh, a lot of this is hot glue actually from when i made my hot glue out of venom video i way overbought on hot glue tons of wood so you know popsicle sticks regular sticks got clay like i said we've got a laminator sheets hole puncher and cutting mat and then uh, over here of course aquaman's trident we've got an arrow <laughs> um a broken tripod probably should just get rid of that two easels and uh yeah that is pretty much it i've got my apron I've got uh, another apron this is light work i don't even remember look at that tiny little light but that is the closet. It seemed a lot more menacing when I opened up the doors, but it's really just a bunch of supplies, not a lot to talk about. All right, so now that you guys know the story of literally everything, let's go check out the garage. Not a lot out there, but still a place that I do work. Let's go. All righty. All righty. None of this really applies to what we're gonna be talking about today, except this area. All right, so I recently got all this cleaned up with the big help of uh, Bailey. Um, we got the whole garage cleaned up. It's very echoey out here, so I won't be out here too long. All right, so I got my workbench, um, various just scraps of things. You know, when you build stuff, they send you extra parts. That is that, because we've recently been building a bunch of stuff and our recycling is full, so we gotta wait. Scraps of stuff, extra little pieces, various paints, level, more paint from when we paint the walls. Um, filter replacements, light bulbs. None of this is really like artsy stuff. I got my tool case thing all situated. Boom. But I've got all my extra little tools and equipment and sanding stuff all situated. All nice like toolbox, spare pieces of wood in case I want to do something. But the desk here, the workbench, got it from my grandpa, Bishop just last year, boom. And I figured one day when my son's old enough, I can like pass it on to him and be like two, insert baby name, cause I'm not gonna spoil it before he's born, um, from dad or something like that. And then I'll date it and uh, you know, maybe one day he can pass it on to his kid or whoever. Um, and yeah, it's just a real awesome, solid uh, workbench that I built my Moon Knight thing on. And it's really cool. I would like to one day, in terms of spray paints and stuff, get just like a rack that I can put them up here. Cause I'm only ever gonna spray paint in the garage cause you know, ventilation. But I don't know, maybe I'll have to just end up clearing all that off and I can just put them up there. But that is pretty much it. Let's go back to the art room where it's not so friggin' loud. Oh man, I forgot to put the thing back on. Gosh, we uh, ordered a new filter. We're all good. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. Now you guys know the story of everything that has to do with any art. And the dogs are running around because they're super awesome like that. So anyway, that is it for this one, guys. It is the Art Room Tour 2022. Um, and yeah, super awesome. I can't wait to see how it changes in 2023. I bet there will be a baby. But anyway, that's it for this one, guys. If you guys would, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.